Good day, grade 8 students. Here is our mini task about Cartesian plane project. So this is an example of my, um, let's say, animation or animated drawing from GeoGebra. So I made this one during my college days. So this is made of GeoGebra and we have here the points. Okay. And this is the final product. There is a colors, then we have the shapes, points. So using GeoGebra, we can draw images and pictures. Now for our mini task here, first fill up the necessary information, for example, my name, section, and then the date you accomplish. For example, today is September 23, 2020, okay? Then proceed with the mini task, okay? You have to make a coordinate plane project, a project okay? So you have the coordinate plane project, Make a coordinate plane picture with a set of directions to recreate a picture. So using points, okay, like this example, you have to plot points and then connect the points using straight lines. Then list the ordered pair and the quadrants, right? Okay. So I have here the criteria. It will be graded. Um, the points, we have 40 points. That is the criteria. We have the overall presentation, math accuracy, complexity of picture, follows directions, okay? And then here is the layout. If you don't have GeoGebra, or if you don't have a computer at home, you may print out this worksheet or this layout, okay? And then plot the points. Now, what if you don't have a printer? I use graphing paper, you have to use the, the graphing paper and draw a Cartesian plane. So you have to copy this layout if you don't have a printer. So you have many choices. You have three choices. The first one, GeoGebra. The second one is print out this template. And the third one is to copy the template in a graphing paper. Okay. So you have three choices. And then you must also fill out this coordinate plane directions wherein you have to write the numbers of points and then the ordered pair, then the location of the point. So we have four quadrants, quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Now for this tutorial, I will explain how to use the GeoGebra in Cartesian plane project. Okay, first, always open. First step, open the GeoGebra, okay? So let's wait for the GeoGebra, yeah, here. Now, uh, in this case, we don't need to change the font size of GeoGebra, okay? Just expand this input part. You have to expand and then go to settings. Change the labeling, no new objects. Click no new objects so that you don't need to uh, remove the label, okay? So you may click no new objects, okay? Then you may now start to plot the points. Okay, for example, I want to make a popular game or a popular characters today, okay? So you may guess what I am drawing right now using the points, okay? Sample. So this will be the point A. You have to copy the point A. You have negative two, five. Go to tables, negative two, five. That is the, and located at quadrant, Quadrant two, right? So we have quadrant two. 
Yan. And then, draw another point. So, let's say here is the second point. We have 2, 5. Right? The second point, you have 2, 5. And that is located at quadrant 1. We have quadrant 1. Right? Then, go to GeoGebra again. Plot the points. Uh, let's say here, here, and here. Okay, so I have here three points. Then you saw the points here. Just copy. You have three, four. You have here three, four. What else? Three, four, three, two, three, zero. Three, two. And three, zero. Okay. And this is located at quadrant one. Quadrant one also. And here is located at x axis, right? So you have x axis. Write the number C for five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there. Okay. Then proceed with next points. We have here, let's say here, here. So, are we yeah. So, here is the four new points. We have three, negative two, three, negative two, three, negative two, three, negative four. Negative four, one negative four, one negative four, then one negative two, so one negative two, one negative two, okay, and it is all located at quadrant four, right. Quadrant four. Uh, quadrant four. Okay. Next point. So I will draw another point here. For example, here is the point. I plotted another point. We have negative one, two, negative one and four, negative one and negative four. Okay. You have to plot again. So since the first shape uh, needs for uh, needs lots of space, so that is the shape number one. So we must enter another points. Okay, you have to add add rows. Fourteen. Then copy the points. You have negative one, negative two. Negative one, negative two, negative one, negative four, negative three, negative four, and negative three, negative two, negative three, negative two. Okay, here. Then we have to write the quadrant that is located at quadrant 3. So we have quadrant 3, right? So we have to write the quadrant 3. Okay, can you follow? Next. We have to write another points. So I'm hoping you already saw the shapes. Okay. Here. So this will be my third shape. I right. here. This will be my I mean second shape. Shape number two. This is my shape number two. I will show to you. 
uh, point the po uh, click the polygon. So here. Yeah. Click the polygon. So here is the shape number two. I have to write the shape number two. How many points do I write? We have from negative three to one. So we have negative three, one. Okay, we have to write that is shape number two. This will be deleted. Shape number two, that number 14. We have number 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. We have six points in shape number two. Here, here are the points. We have negative three, one. It is also easy to copy paste class. So if you are using GeoGebra, you may copy paste. But if you will just print out the, the layout or the template, you have to rewrite. Okay. So in GeoGebra, you ma uh, you can only copy paste the points. Okay. And the points is also uh, automatically written in the input side. Okay. So it is easy to determine the points. What you have to do is just to copy paste. That is all located at quadrant two. So we have quadrant two. Copy. So this feature is the SAS feature, I think. Okay. Para tayo ano mahirapan. Then another polygon for the first shape. So I will draw a polygon for the first shape. Let's connect the points. Our first shape. Okay. And then go to settings. Change the color. For example, you have red. Surely I saw red. Okay. And then you have red. Close. Then change the color of the second image. Go to settings, color, here. Yeah. Then close. Then uh, still have another point here. This is this this is the third point. Okay. So we have here. If I'm not mistaken. Here. So we have here, 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 and here, right? And then here, here. So we have these points, okay? I have to copy the points. I will draw first the polygon. Okay. So here is the polygon. We have these points. Okay. So if you want to minimize the points, just delete the points. Okay. So that you have four points one, two, three, and four. Okay. So you have this point. We have three, three. We will write three, three. For the third point, we have three. Three and then this point, just click the point to see. We have this one four two. We have four two to find its ordered pair. Just click the point. This one we have four negative three, four negative three, and then this point we have three negative three. Three negative three. Okay, and then the numbers we have now 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, and then we have quadrant quadrant one, quadrant one, and here we have quadrant four. 
right? Quadrant four, quadrant. Okay, we have quadrant four. So we are now done with the tables. Okay, so we have quadrant four. Then ch change again the color that you want. Okay. Yeah. So I have this color. I will lighten the color here. And then I want to add shapes. Okay. For her background here, I will just add shapes. Okay, so we have negative six for the we have negative six, positive six, shape number four, negative six, positive six, six and six. Then I have six negative five. Then I have negative six negative five. Negative six negative five. So what number are we now? Twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. Uh, numbers are way how I will determine how many points you plotted. Okay, so it makes uh our checking is here if you have the numbers so that is quadrant two quadrant one um quadrant four quadrant four and we have the quadrant three quadrant three okay then remove again you may also remove this one because we don't have the shape number five okay we remove yeah so we have four shapes up to 27 points then go here polygon again connect the points here and then change the color that you want i want yellow here so here you may adjust the colors so there are styles here if you want thickness yeah so you have many choices here how you will design your image okay then for the last step you are done with the tables okay so here are the tables now you have to attach the GeoGebra. So download, save as PNG. Siempre, we have Among Us. This is character from Among Us. Save. Yes. Then insert picture, this device. We have the among us now here is the product or here is my partition plane project you are now done see so you may now uh, you have now the uh mini task okay if you have some if you have some questions you may comment down your questions or send me a direct message on my gmail account Okay, that's all. Thank you and God bless.